The B part of Highlander's Farewell usually starts on the fifth fret of the first string. And I hammer right onto it. That part's not so hard. Hammer. Three. Seven. Three. Pull off to the open second. And then I'll use a drone. One to two on the second string. Droning with the first string. Double thumb the open first two strings, and you can slide from two to three on the third string. And all I really did there was change the syncopation a bit, right? I'm going to do that again. That's the simplest B part version. That's the basic. Now we're going to dress it up. You can do pull-offs. Just sliding one to two on the second string and hitting the first string. Put your finger down on the third fret of the first string. And one of my faves. Now that is based on your five chord, which is O, two, two, O, not including the fifth string. So one of my favorite things is I play that five chord, it's an E chord. Then I lift, so O, two, two, O. I lift the second string, make it open, but I put my little finger or sometimes my ring finger on the third fret of the first string. So now I have O, two, O, three. It's like a color chord. And then to take it one step further, so E, the third fret of the first string, and now I slide three to five on the first string, and I kind of do a rake and pop the fifth string while I'm sliding. And then I come back to three. Da -da -da -da. instead of going now I'm hammering onto the first fret of the second string so let me put that in context for you that from time to time I just hit that low open fourth string if there's time and there's space and I think it's gonna sound good sometimes I'll just fill the gap with it like this that was an example 
instead of going and they both sound good they both work it's just one of one of the Kathy tricks uh, let's see my little pulling off from five to four on the first string and there's a little fifth string in there while I pull off I'll play as much of the B part on the low strings as I can. And I don't have notes that are lower than that, so I have to play around with it to create something that sounds close enough to the tune to fool you and still sound pleasant. Slide three to five on the fourth string. Three, pull off two of the third string. And right here you've got one, two, three, four beats of that five chord. What am I going to do with it? I might go and even hold it down so the other strings will ring in that. Or I might do a chromatic run. Chromatic meaning going up one fret at a time, open, second, third, fourth, and I'll almost always slide into the fifth. And then I'm just going to play with oh, two, three, two, oh. any measure of combinations. That little trill is three, two, all. One hit with the right hand. slow for you once. the melody then playing with those variations I think the listener still hears more of the full melody but with a little bit of ear candy to it so that's the B part to Highlander's Farewell <laughs> 